previously on Fallout 3. Uh, I got good power armor out of it though, which is kind of cool. I, I guess, anyways, I'm an explorer and I'm gonna start heading east just to see what I can find. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. The Great One is a god tree. Right. I think you're all insane. You will witness his glory firsthand. I don't like the sound of that. Time to hunt down this bulimic bitch. <laughs> I'm a penis. I am Boner, the Skeleton Man. That's the two L's. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Phoenix Jade, and I approve of this badassery. Oh, what the? What? Huh? Well, my butt feels fine. Still in my armor too. Okay. Oh, still irradiated. Of course. Why did I assume any different? Are you him, tree? Hello, him. I am Beefy McCracken, the one you called. Good God! Sup? Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. You and me both. <laughs> you okay? Need a handkerchief? They listen when I talk. But they don't hear. You know what I mean? Not really. You know, I've never met a talking tree before. Neither have I. Well, <laughs> I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> so you're trapped in there inside of Herbert Bob thing? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way. See, I am. Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots right in there, you know? Uh-huh. Well, eventually, he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. That is weird. So, how exactly did a tree end up growing out of your head? It was a long time ago. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Mariposa. We yeah. were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Awesome. Yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. So, the tree minder said you needed my help? Yes. Yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do. Me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Okay. Would you please kill me? Sure. I want a bolt to the head, uh, you want me to blow you up with a rocket launcher? I got a mini nuke. Um, I don't know if I'm still carrying an incinerator or not, but it, I might be. I used to have a plasma thrower, that could have worked. I'm really good with knives. I wish it was that simple. No. No. There's only one way you're gonna be able to do this for me. 
if I kill you, every tree minder is going to come after me. You do realize that. And then I'll be really annoyed. And I'll be moody for weeks. Oh, no, no. Don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. Well, you should know I'm not a charity. If you want to die, cough up some caps, bro. Well, I used to carry those pesky caps a long time ago, but I think my pockets are in those shrubs over yonder. I'm pretty sure the caves below me are full of all kinds of nifty gizmos you can take on your way to my heart. Help yourself. Why don't you just kill yourself, though? I don't know, stab a twig through your eye. Now, how exactly am I supposed to do that I can barely move anymore. Thanks to Bob, I'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time. Alright, so, how'd I be able to kill you? You're a tree. How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. Ew. <laughs> That's not right. It's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Fair. Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Okay. Oh, oh you... You made us so happy. Oh, oh isn't that right, Bob? Just, just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob and... Then I'll be ready. Fine, fine, fine. What the fuck do I call you anyway? Herbert or Bob? No. No. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name. But I call him Herbert. Because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but what's your name? <laughs> but I'm still in here too. What's left of me. The names... Harold. Okay. Ominous. Sounds like fun. Potentially lucrative if he's got a bunch of stuff down there in his root system. Loot. Root loot. <laughs> I amuse myself so and much. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The Outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland. Not to exploit us. Uh. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. Uh. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the Outsider. I'm right here. Agreed. Why else would the Outsider have been allowed into the Grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. Yeah, okay. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. Can we just dispense with all that religious crap? His name's Harold, and he's a fucking man tree. 
Oh, he's testing you now, just oh, like he tested my. us. Yeah. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? A tree? Don't worry. You'll soon see things as I do. You know, Harold makes some unusual requests. The Great One does tend to speak in riddles. But if that is his way, then so be it. My talks with him have become quite puzzling of late. I think he's beginning to fear his future. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. Hot damn, free firewood for all. I've had enough of your blasphemy. I've tolerated it this long because you're an outsider, but no more. If you wish to test me again, you'll find yourself banished from Oasis. Fine, 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 fine. You know, killing him would stop his influence from spreading. You misinterpret his words, my friend. Ugh. He wants you to extinguish that which seeks to make him vulnerable. Life. If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. You stupid old fuck. Why are you still standing there? Waiting for him to leave? I yeah. love Birch. But sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Doesn't anybody here care what their god thinks? Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. Oh my god. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end. But Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Oh man, I can see where this is going. I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Green is a gross color. I don't like it. I really don't. Sup? Branch Tender Cypress at your service. Welcome to our little home. I have to go. Farewell, outsider. Good talk, man. Not a roach. Ew. There's gonna be something to fight down here. There's always something to fight. Ah. I can't even. Sh no, that wasn't too bad, actually. Damn. How deep does Bob spread? All right, can I repair my gun? Did I? Am I carrying an extra plasma rifle? Absolutely not. Why would I carry it? Let's see what this can do to lurks. Hey, buddy. Ow. Best weapon ever. Didn't quite do the trick on him. Oh, my mistake. Oh! Well, now. That's an unusual sight. You found Harold's heart. Destroy Harold's heart as he wishes. Apply Birch's sap to stop Harold's growth so the wasteland doesn't get green. Or apply Laurel's liniment to accelerate Harold's growth to do something that I really don't want to do. Kill the tree. Stop the tree's influence, but make it stay alive so it can suffer. Or do the thing I absolutely don't want to do. I've got a better idea. Hey, Harold. I have moral qualms about being moral.
Let's hear it again. Let's hear the joke again. <laughs> okay. That was not funny. Definitely the best way to go about this, though. Alright, assholes. Let's do it. Just how I like to see a forest. Burning. Hey, Maple, you mind if I borrow these so I can, I don't know, wipe my ass with them? Nice. They should have known. They should have known.